Hello, and welcome back. Welcome back to today's video. Here we go, Alice Cooper. The Muscle of Love. Let's have a look. This is the one that comes in the box. Now, you know, uh, Friday Music has reissued this record. It's not in a box. Okay, this one that comes in the box. I, I bought the Friday Music because I had, had this is just an original uh, Canadian pressing of this record that I bought, of course, years and years ago. Insert, the, I mean, the record sleeve. This is the original record sleeve. I'll hold it over here again a little bit longer. Nice color. Nice, it's good. And then you've got this little insert in it. And the record. Of course, it's on the palm tree, which is period correct for the first edition. And this record sounds fantastic. It's so much better than that Friday Music reissue. So, and it's a great, great record. Yeah, it's one of my favorite Alice Cooper records. This this thing rocks up. This is a great record. This is better than Million Dollar Babies, this record here. Yeah, for, for consistently song after song being good, good songs. This is a good, good record right here. So, now you know. The one in the box. If you like the record, if you're looking for the good sound, yeah, the Friday music one is not. Now, I have been looking for a Japanese issue to compare this and do all that stuff, but you know what? Yeah, they're over $100, and you know, if you're not, they're all, there's something wrong with them. So, I don't have one yet. You know, there was one I think I could have got from a, a seller. That's right, there was a seller that sent me an email because I had bought from him in the past. And he's going, he had the record. And it was like, I don't know, it wasn't it wasn't a hundred dollars. It was reasonably priced. So I had made my little list, and then of course about a week went by and I was procrastinating and finally I said, you know what, I need to get them records because I know that guy, all his records are like pristine, they're so beautiful, and they're reasonable. Of course this was gone. Yeah. So that's what happens. He, he who hesitates, yeah, you lose the record. Now here's Billion Billion Dollar Babies. This is a Rhino reissue. Let's see if I have the, uh, yeah, here it is. Rhino reissue. Pressed in RTI. Back again, this is in, uh, 2010, 2008, 07, whatever this record was made. I don't think it's got a year on it here. But anyway, we won't worry. But this is when Rhino, like I said before, this is when they made the Joni Mitchell record. This is when they were making the best records in the world at that time. They used to be able to get the master tape from Warner Brothers because people were still buying a lot of CDs right at this point in time. There wasn't, you didn't have Spotify. They were suing Napster. You know, record companies still, you know, could, could make money selling CDs. But then, you know, all that's falling apart now. They can't make money on CDs anymore. People are streaming. My, my daughter, she spends $5 a month or whatever it is on Spotify. That's all she does. She doesn't buy anything. And I believe that's probably the millennials. That's all they're, that's what they do. You know, we do have a certain sector of the population, like ourselves, we're looking for that great sound. That it's important. You're not going to get any good sound off of Spotify. Now, I shouldn't say you can't get any. You can get decent sound. You can get a really good DA converter and convert. Get that pump up that music that you're getting over the internet. It'll sound good. It will. Are you going to be able when you're doing your housework? Are you going to make you sit down and listen? Probably not. Okay, so here is Billion Dollar Babies, and you know. It's the gatefold, beautiful cover, it's embossed, all these jewels are embossed, the little baby's head's embossed on there, same thing on the back, got the rounded cover, corners on it, record, it's got the perforated, all these little pictures are, you can pop them out, it's all perforated, it's got the billion dollar bill in it, you know, this is a hard record to produce. 
but part of the reason they did it is because if you looked at during this time period and you saw a record like this in this in this not even well close to this kind of condition and of course it wouldn't sound this good because and then you've got the inner sleeve and originally it was just kind of a shiny paper in the sleeve it wasn't real big thick cardstock like this so this whole album is made to a higher standard than anything I've ever seen and I've had the Japanese edition, the German edition, the US edition, the Canadian edition I mean I've had a lot a lot of records of, of this issues versions of this record and they went and they put it on of course because they got the USA tape now which is the original master tape of this record so they they can make the best sounding record in the world because they got their first edition master of this unlike the Black Sabbath they got the second edition tape so this is just a fantastic record right here produced manufactured to the highest standard of the day and so like I was saying you know Rhino could get all those master tapes from the record companies but now you know since you know 2012 or so the record companies are like man we can't make money off of digital anymore but you know what you can't stream a record people are still buying records let's make records so yeah now they're making digital records then you have schools out and it doesn't have that flip up desk like the old one did it's a gatefold but it's I like this I do like this better I think because it's thicker you remember that desk that folded up it was just kind of a thin one piece that folded up and it always got tattered on the edges and everything and you know the legs on this the legs don't fold out but how many of you ever had one where you didn't have one little crease on, and you never pulled the legs out you, you know you, you can't do that you have to keep it intact but it's even still that it get a little corner something they always get a little bit bent on one of them legs so this is really nice now I did have I think a Japanese one of this and I did have of course a German and I had a USA and I had a lot of different pressings of it and I got the Friday music and I think Friday music now again because it's it's a Warner Brother USA they were able to get the original master tape they did a great job this is a the, the service is quiet it's a great sounding record it's it's a winner. It's a, one of those Friday music winners. So, this is a good one here. And I'm not sure if you can still get them or not, but this is the one I have. And if you do have it, if you like this record, and you can find this, okay, it goes in the top. And you can find this Friday music, get a hold of it. You'll really, really love it. That is a great record right there. And then, love it to death. This is my third, and this is my collection. I've got four Alice Cooper records, because if I want to listen to Alice Cooper, these are the ones that these are my go-tos, because, you know, back in the day, again, it's like the David Bowie records. You know, your Bowie records. You know, it's the same kind of time period. This is the ones when I was in when I was 18. Guess what the song was out? Yeah, I'm 18. That kind of thing. That's the ones I. This is stuff I grew up with. So now this one, Alice Cooper, love it to death. This is on a first edition Japanese pressing. Now it doesn't have the OB strip. And I think I got it from that seller I was talking about from Japan that would send me emails. And I bought this record uh, probably, it's going on 20 years ago I bought this record. And of course it didn't have the OB I wasn't concerned about it at the time. This is one of the earlier Japanese pressings that I ever bought. Now you'll see on the front, he's sticking his thumb through the bottom of his little jumpsuit there. And uh, they call it the thumb cover. Most of you know all that, but I'm just explaining it for folks that don't know. And on the reissues of this record, they always used to put a little sticker across that you, they didn't, that, but they, they censored that part of it out. Now, the record, being a Japanese edition, you're going to have the Japanese insert. 
was got a bit of yellowing on it, obviously, for being a 50-year-old record. Because, like I say, this is the original press now. Original Japanese pressing of this record. There's your green Warner Brother label. And again, the record service is on here. Uh, I mean, I'm not looking under bright light. But it's not pristine, but it's very, it's very, very nice. It's near mint, near mint minus kind of thing. For a first edition Japanese record, and I didn't have to pay the moon for it. You know, it did have the OB. You've got a little bit of, a little bit of yellowing around here. But this is the record that really demonstrated to me how great the Japanese first edition sounds compared to the other ones because at this time you know if it was made in japan had an ob strip man that's it it's, it's going to be awesome i'm buying it but i had to learn no 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 those aren't going to be the best sounding version you might the one you have if you've got a uk press it's probably going to sound better than the one you're buying out of japan so but when i listen to this wow all the Breath of life was in the music. Just the music's jumping right out of the speakers. So it showed me, man, I've got to get that original press. That's the one to get. And so that's going to conclude the video for today. Uh, thanks for, for tuning in. Really appreciate it. And uh, we'll make another video right away. So stay tuned. Bye for now.